Hi, Mrs McTaggart here. In this video, we are looking at equations with brackets. Prior knowledge to this is you should be able to solve simple two-step equations um, of the form maybe 2x plus 1 equals 5. And you should have also seen how to expand simple brackets. If not, go watch those videos first. So the rule is bod mass. Bod mass means get rid of the brackets. So that's the first thing we're going to do here. We're going to expand this bracket. So we're going to times everything on the left-hand side by 4. So we're going to do 4 times a is 4a. We're going to do 4 times 2, or 4 times negative 2, rather, is negative 8. 40 is nothing to do with the bracket, so it just stays as it is with a negative 40. Now, at this point, I've just taken you back to a simple two-step equation. You may have been taught different ways of doing equations. I use a balancing method, which is all about doing opposites, and whatever I do to one side, I do the same to the other. So my goal here is to solve for a and get this to be a equals. So the first thing I want to deal with is this minus 8a. To get that to disappear, I have to counteract it. So I have to add 8 to each side of my equation because that will then make the number on the left-hand side a 0. So it will leave me with 4a. 8 and minus 8 have gone. And then 40 plus 8 is 48. This now says 4 times something is 48. So I need to divide each side by 4. I don't always write this line. Most people go straight to saying me. Uh, saying to me that the answer is 12 because 4 times 12 is 48 and there is your answer. Now one thing we don't always tell you to do is equations. You can check your answer. Go back and do a bit of substitution. If I told you a was 12, plug it into the equation. 12 take away 2 is 10 times it by 4 is 40 which is the answer we had at the start. So it's almost like being able to check you've got 100% if you were doing it in a test. I'm not going to do it for every question but just a wee reminder while I remembered. Right, question two, we have five in front of the brackets, so we're going to times everything by five. So we've got five times b is 5b. We've got five times two is 10. And that equals 20, because 20 is not in the bracket, so we leave it as is. Then I need to counteract the plus 10, so I'm going to take off 10 from each side of my equation. And it leaves me with 5b equals 10. And then at this point, how do we get that one? Well, five times what is 10? Essentially, you're doing 10 divided by 5. You're dividing each side of the equation by 5, and 10 divided by 5 is 2. So b equals 2. Let's look at the third example. Just bigger numbers this time. We're times everything by 6. 6 times 4 is 24c. 6 times 10 is 60. And the 12 isn't being touched. Now, this one is going to go into negatives. To counteract the plus 60, I'm going to take away 60 from each side. So I have 24c equals negative 48. And then if I divide that by 24, it goes in exactly twice, but a negative and a positive, negative always wins. So I've got negative 2. c equals negative 2 in this one. So we can have negatives involved as well. Okay, this one, we're starting to get a wee bit trickier. We've got a bit of brackets, we've got a bit of tidying up, but essentially it will become one of the simple two-step equations. So let's multiply the bracket first of all. So this will give us 8 times d is 8d. 8 times negative 3 is negative 24. Now this bit is not in the bracket, so don't be fooled and multiply that by 8. It's just going to stay as it is just now. So take away 2d plus 1 equals 7. And then I'm going to tidy up the left-hand side. I've got an 8d take away 2d, which is 6d. I've got negative 24 plus 1, or you might want to read that backwards, as plus 1 take away 24, which is negative 23, and that equals 7. I need to add 23 to counteract the negative 23, get rid of it, which leaves me with 6d, sorry I should have said add, I wrote a take away. So 7 add 23 is 30, and 30 divided by 6 is 5, so d is the number 5. So that's me, that's my examples. I hope this has helped. On the next slide, there are some questions you can try. You can pause and try for yourself. The ones with the little asterisks beside them, they don't give you exact answers, so you can leave your answers as decimals or possibly fractions. Um, if you unpause the video, you will then get your answers on the next slide. And there are your answers there. I hope this has helped. Thanks so much for watching.